I'm Kyra Edwards, I'm 18 years old and I've been rowing for five years and my aim is to make the Great Britain rowing team. I'm from Nottingham, I've just finished college and the next part of my journey is going to the University of California, Los Angeles, also known as UCLA on a sports scholarship. This is my story. Rowing is a very endurance-based sport. At school I did just a general PE lessons and then I was quite good on the rowing machine. And then there were inter-school competitions with different schools doing the rowing machine, which we call ergos. Um, and then I got quite, I was really good compared to most people. I ended up like doing like the best in the Midlands, so I was like, I might actually try it even more. I might go to my local club. On a day-to-day -day basis, I wake up at 6.30, I have a session in the morning. I'm still at college, well, I've just finished college, but I've still been at college, so I'd be doing a run in the morning, maybe I'd be going to school early to do some training at an ergo in the morning. And then I'd be at college most of the day, and then I come I come back to so Hempo Point or the Nothing Rowing Club, where I do another session either on the water, another one on the rowing machine in the weights room. Sometimes I'd be finished at maybe six, but on a three session day I'd be going till about eight thirty, getting home near enough nine, wow. eating, bed, back up at six thirty the next morning. When we, we only get selected for GB rowing in the summer and we don't actually get selected or we're never in a, a team until the senior team where you train all the time in the senior team. At the Junior World Championships year, this year where I was selected, um, we went on a, a month's camp before we even actually were at the championships. So this was down in Reading. We had a big three week camp in Reading which was all funded by National Lottery, UK Sport, and then we had another two weeks in Rio, which was also funded by UK Sport. Uh, my, my rowing club's been really helpful, so that's been a big help. Um, I've got sponsored by Fred Hallam's Food Shop in Beeston, which has been really helpful. So my favourite competition so far has got to be the Junior World Championships in Rio, which is by far one of the best weekends ever. That was amazing. But as part of being part of a GB rowing scheme that I'm on at the moment, which is mainly to develop athletes to get into Olympiads and train accordingly, a lot of it is just training and the main competitions are quite significant competitions like national regattas and well mainly GB rowing stuff. So Things where I represent my country would be uh, a GB versus Spanish match when I was 16. Then I represented uh, GB in the Coupe de la Jeunesse, which is like the B team for the GB rowing team. And then this year uh, I've been at Munich International Regatta as part of the GB rowing team and at the World Championships. There are a lot of people I look up to. I have a lot of respect for very successful people. Uh, I've only been with Kyra for the last year or so. Um, but from the beginning to where she is now, I think she's stepped on a lot throughout the year. She's had plenty of ups and downs, but yeah, I think she's a good athlete to take things on board, listens and then goes out and gives her all to improving it. So I think from the start to the finish where I am with her, she's, she's done good. She's definitely stepped on. For often hard work, there's a lot needed to get to, to the level that Kyra's achieved. Um, program at the moment we'll have kind of this time of the season it'll be some long distance stuff some low level getting back into it um, but over the year it's a it's a sport that has 50 weeks a year of training um, which is quite a lot compared to other sports. I wouldn't say anyone specifically so I don't think I actually have an idol because I guess one I don't think one person is a 
is any better than any others because I think at the end of the day, success is all about hard work, determination, commitment, and that's the thing that a lot of people do really well. People say they make sacrifices for sport, and I guess there are a few, a few, to me, there are a few circumstances where something is a sacrifice, but at the end of the day, if you're choosing to chase after something like a medal, it's something like an Olympic medal, it's a lifestyle, it's not, it's no longer a sacrifice, it's just a way of life, and when you get there, it's, it's all worth it, so... I've made, I guess, the things like going out with my friends, going out, stuff like that, I've had to not do. But I have, a, I get a lot of joy out of just training. So that's a different way of enjoying my time, which I guess, I wouldn't call it a sacrifice necessarily, I just call it being different to everyone else. Uh, my immediate goals are just to keep developing as an athlete keep getting better every day um, and then I think it's important to have short-term and long-term goals. Things like under 23 GB rowing team and the under 23 world championships next year and the years after that are, are something that I've got in the forefront of my mind but um, I think there is all I would, I would like to represent my country in Olympics one day whether that's the next one or whatever. Getting the silver medal was one of the best feelings I have ever had. It was, it was all just a lot, of, a lot of hard work finally paying off. All the hours in the gym, all the miles on the water, everything finally just felt like a big sigh of relief. We did go into the World Championships wanting the gold, so. We were slightly disappointed to come and fall a bit short. It was still amazing to be second in the world in such a strong field, so it was amazing.